Hello friends, my name is Prasad and welcome back to Adda Desi. In today's episode of New City Life, we are going to talk about NJIT, that is New Jersey Institute of Technology. But before we move forward, let me get done with my usual request. If you like the work we do, then please consider subscribing to our channel. This is completely free for you guys, but it will help us a lot with the YouTube algorithm and it will keep motivating us to make such informative videos in the future. Also, subscribers can comment below what university they want me to cover next and I will surely make a video on that. Now that's aside, let's start with the application requirements. There are total 5 application requirements in NJIT. First, an online application that cost around $75. Second, academic transcripts. Third, one letter of recommendation. Fourth, a GRE score. And fifth, English language proficiency test, that is your IELTS, TOEFL, or PT score. Minimum English score requirements are as follows. TOEFL, 79, IELTS, 6.5, and Duolingo, 120. NJIT has an acceptance rate of 69% for international students, which means that admissions are not highly competitive and NJIT is somewhat selective. Average profile of a computer science admit are as follows. TOEFL 94 and IELTS 7. Next, let's talk about the graduation requirements and the tuition fee structure. I'll take a computer science course as an example to talk about the graduation requirements and the tuition fee structure. If you need specifics about your program, you can comment below and I will definitely reply to that. To complete graduation, one needs to complete a minimum of 30 course credit. This can take at least 18 months or 4 semesters. Total tuition fees to complete this 18 months of course for an in-state student would be around $39,900 and for an out-of-state or in tasha student it would be around $54,852. There are additional fees such as health insurance, campus and service fees which may cost around $2,000 more. One thing to note here is that this is just an estimate and tuition fees keeps on changing each semester. Next, let's check out the housing cost. But before that, if you haven't already liked our video, then please smash that like button. Off-campus housing offers affordable options, so many graduation students prefer off-campus housing. You can visit our website addadesi.com and find many such off-campus housing options. The average rent for an entire two-bed, two-bath apartment could start around $2,100 and go up to $2,600. And the average rent for per person is around $1,000 to $1,300 per month. Average monthly utility bill is around $160 to $180 per person. You can also join our special Facebook housing group for New Jersey Institute of Technology and connect with other interested students. The link is in the description below. Next, let's talk about transportation. Students can use campus shuttle or discounted public transit bus system using the student ID for off-campus transportation. The nearest international airport would be Newark International Airport, which is around 8 miles from the city. Next, let's talk about on-campus jobs. NJIT has an online job board for on-campus job applications. You can apply directly in the portal using your resume even before you start the semester. Intensive students can work 20 hours per week during fall and spring semester and over 20 hours during vacation periods. Average pay at this university could be around $14 to $18 per hour. Certainly, there are some pros and cons of pursuing a master's degree at NJIT. Some of the pros for an intest student are as follows. First, a reputation and rankings. NJIT is a highly regarded for its engineering, technology, and STEM programs. It is consistently ranked among the top universities in the United States for engineering education. Second, strong industry connection. Located in Greater New York City area, NJIT has a strong connection with industry leaders and employers providing students with ample internship, co-op, and job opportunities. Third, convenient location. Sit situated in uh, Newark, New Jersey, NJIT offers easy access to New York City and other met metropolitan areas, 
providing students with access to cultural, networking and professional development opportunities. On the other hand, there are some cons too, and they are as follows. First, cost of living. Living expenses in the greater New York City area can be relatively high, including housing, transportation and other daily expenses. Students may need to budget carefully to manage their finances here. Second, limited campus amenities. NJIT's campus amenities may be relatively limited compared to larger universities with fewer recreational facilities, dining options, and extracurricular activities available on campus. Third, heavy workload. Graduate programs at NJIT are rigorous and demanding, requiring a significant time commitment for coursework, research, and projects. Students should be prepared for a challenging academic workload. Overall, NJIT offers a reputable and academically rigorous environment for graduate studies with strong industry connection and research opportunities. However, students should carefully consider factors such as cost of living, program competitiveness, and campus environment when, eval when evaluating NJIT for their master's degree. Remember that individual experiences can vary, so it's a good idea to reach out to current students or alumni to get more detailed understanding of what to expect. At the end, as always, I would like to wish you all the very best for all your future endeavors. Please like, subscribe and comment to our channel. Also, please don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you.